celebrate the new year with savings. Like this honey glaze and technology. This will be a great 2020. Theorists, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Food Theory, the show that's like the tomatoes to your sauce. You are the sauce, and all its tomatoes. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you couldn't tell already, this is gonna be a weird one. Today, we're gonna start our exploration into the wild world of Omega Mart. Maybe I should say worlds of Omega Mart, but uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. For months, you guys have been asking me for an Omega Mart episode. It's not hard to understand why. It combines the food industry and creepy lore. Heck, there's even an ongoing ARG that unlocks more lore lore as things get solved. It is like the theorist channel trifecta. But there I go getting ahead of myself again, because before I go any further, I should really address the most fundamental question of all. Hey, what's Omega Mart? Huh? Omega Mart? What's Omega Mart? Yeah! What, what is, is Omega, Omega Mart? Mart? What's with all the questions? Howdy, I'm Willie Nelson. Omega Mart is just a totally normal supermarket in Las Vegas, and I'm a celebrity you can trust. Really? Omega Mart has all the under-refrigerated dairy you need and all the organically recommended produce you want. It's like we always say. Uh-oh, oh, oh, Omega Mart. You have no idea what's in store for you. Just off I-15 in Las Vegas, next to the big gorilla. Tickets on sale now. Thanks for clearing that up, celebrity endorsement Willie Nelson, but uh, you know, you, you skipped a few details in there. Like the glitching face swaps, the difficult spills that appear to rip a hole in the fabric of space-time, and how to win that darn Butter Frenzy 2 claw machine. Seriously though, the mysteriousness of Omega Mart is very much the point, as they like to constantly remind us You have no idea what's in store for so the goal of today's episode will be to get a little sense of what's in store for us. Because as you're about to see, there is a lot of lore here. And most of it is hidden not in commercials or videos or websites like we're used to, but at the actual store. You heard that right, Willie Nelson wasn't yanking your chain when he said it was off the I-15 in Las Vegas next to the big gorilla. Omega Mart is a real physical supermarket where you actually explore, shop, and give your life essence to the eternal corporate overlords feeding a fountain of cosmic energy. Oh, and I'm about to go there. In fact, I need to go there in the hopes of finding every bit of lore that's tucked away in every product, every aisle, every twisted soda refrigerator warping you to an alternate alien world. Because Meow Wolf, the creators behind it all have made it clear that there are entire Omega Mart storylines that haven't been discovered yet. And until fans manage to unlock them, those storylines will never see the light of day. Right now, there's like a locked gate uh, that that's keeping people away from that that material. And so, but but at some point, we hope that people will unlock it. You know, we can open up a new chapter of the story. I mean, come on, how cool would that be? I'm definitely putting unlock Omega Mart storyline on the old bucket list, right under that Hot Ones guest appearance, which I am still waiting on, Sean Evans. So here we go, theorists. Today, we begin figuring out the secrets hidden inside the aisles of Omega Mart. What's our secret? It's you! Something tells me it might be a bit more than me, but thank you. Anyway, I, I am very special. Now, most of the theorists watching who requested we cover Omega Mart know it from its online commercials. This week at Omega Mart, save on gestating mammal liquid, just $4.75. That's good news for my brittle bones. That's Omega Mart. Some customers have confused Omega Mart lemons with lemons. For that, we're sorry. Please return this product to Omega Mart immediately. Or for assistance, please call the number on your screen. And admittedly, there are dozens of Omega Mart commercials and corporate videos spread all across the internet. Multiple different channels, websites, you name it, and Omega Mart is there. But as I mentioned before, the star of the show and the main point of focus is the actual physical location. Omega Mart is the creation of a group named Meow Wolf, an arts and entertainment group based out of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Since 2008, Meow Wolf, by the way, the group's name came from pulling two random words out of a hat. How cool is that? Anyway, since 2008, Meow Wolf has been creating interactive and immersive experiences which have just gotten steadily bigger and more legit over the years. We did the first Omega Mart in 2009. Welcome to Omega Mart, valued customer. And it was pretty much like a glorified indoor yard sale. A few years later in 2012, we rented a space and we just sent all these press releases out that said Omega Mart comes to Santa Fe. People thought it was a real store. 
and like we'd have to tell them, oh, I'm sorry, like this is not a real grocery store. But then, following the success of their Santa Fe based installation, House of Eternal Return, which looks like it also deserves its own theory, come to think of it, Meow Wolf took a third crack at Omega Mart in 2020, this time as a permanent store in Las Vegas located at Area 51. Sorry, what, what, what was that? Uh huh. Huh. Oh, oh. Sorry. Yeah, makes sense. Sorry, Area 15, not Area 51. Kind of glad, too, because I'm not warmed up enough to do a Naruto run today. Now, when I say that this thing is a store in Las Vegas, that is the understatement of the year. I mean, first, you've got the store itself, filled with all sorts of actually purchasable products that are, well, they're all just a tad bit off. Often it feels like Omega Mart is run by aliens or machines who can't quite seem to get the whole supermarket thing quite right. Cans of sop form a pyramid in the middle of the store, the chicken is all heavily tattooed, and nothing says refreshing quite like a tall, cool glass of vegan goat pus. Might I recommend a side of leg to go with it? Point is, the sheer number of supermarket items that Meow Wolf and its collaborating artists have designed and manufactured for Omega Mart is staggering in and of itself, each potentially containing clues as to the overall mystery happening within these walls. But on top of all of that, there are actors portraying Omega Mart employees throughout the space that interact with you, the customer. The portals and the apples. Oh my god, did you say the portals? Yes, I did. Okay, okay, okay. So why don't you go get a drink over there? Go get a drink? Okay, we'll go get, we'll go get yeah, a drink. Have a mega day. You too, thank you. It's like a twisted Disneyland. And, just like Disneyland, there are lots of hidden secrets everywhere. Go through the right refrigerator case and Omega Mart has a portal where reality warps and spits you out into what they refer to as the Forked Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, we are a long way from the local super target. Robots, aliens, hazmat suits, portals, and alternate worlds. It's like you're stepping into something ripped straight out of Rick and Morty. I gotta be honest here, I haven't even stepped foot inside the supermarket yet and already I feel like giving Omega Mart a round of applause. Not to mention my money. $9.99 for Kaleida Spice? $49.99 for Ham Backpack? Just take my money! Take it all! But for as much time as we can spend bargain hunting for the best deal on Whale Song deodorant or sniffing the various scents of Verbal Agreement air freshener, I do want to take some time to actually discuss Omega Mart's lore. And as you might imagine, it is spread everywhere. The physical supermarket, the secret forked earth through the portal, the commercials and corporate videos, the websites, and yes, that is plural, websites. So since I haven't been able to go to the store in person just yet, yet, let's actually start online. When you visit OmegaMart.com, you're immediately greeted with a link to buy tickets, a corporate video, as well as some real GeoCities page builder vibes. But down in the corner, you're directed to three additional sites, DramCorp, Jobs, and Employee Login. Since it's the first, let's start with the DramCorp page. Oh, and uh, friends, this is where things really start to get Kaleida spicy, because when it comes to the DramCorp board, there's some serious backstabbing going on. As in, literal backstabbing. We quickly come to learn that DramCorp is the parent company of Omega Mart, along with their other other brands, Dramuticals and Dart, short for Dramcorp Advanced Research Team. The CEO and founder of Dramcorp, Walter Dram, quote, won his first store in a game of poker in 1968 and has been on a winning streak ever since. Dramcorp soon exploded into a global enterprise thanks to its exclusive access to products infused with something called Additive S. What you see here is an epical achievement. A sophisticated bio supplement synthesized by the Dramcorp Advanced Research Team. We call it Additive S. All natural and completely safe. In late 2020, in a post on the DramCorp website, Walter announced that he planned to retire, and he publicly named Kaz Matsumura, the company's VP of Futurability, as his successor, which probably came as a surprise to some considering his own daughter, Cecilia Dram, was currently serving as the company's VP of Tomorrowment. However, just a few months later in early 2021, Cecilia made an unexpected and rather cryptic post of her own, explaining simply that her father had moved on and that she now would be taking over as acting CEO of DramCorp, effective immediately not Kaz Matsumura like everyone had planned. Yeah, something suspicious is going on here, especially when you consider that we've heard nothing from Walter Dram since Cecilia took over. But the corporate intrigue goes much deeper. What is Cecilia doing now that she's at the helm of Dramcorp? Well, it comes back to Additive S. See, Additive S seems to be Dramcorp's branded concentration of a material called Source. Despite Dramcorp's claims that it's completely safe, Source actually seems to be a really dangerous substance capable of doing some weird stuff, like making things a bit more alive than you'd expect, and creating difficult spills. Difficult spills may cause unsafe situations, such as tripping hazards, 
misplaced customers, and equipment failure. People sporting hazmat suits and other protective clothing are a common sight in both Omega Mart and Dramcorp's Forked Earth facilities, with source spills and leaks seeming to be a major reason why. So, what is source then? Well, judging by an incomplete post made to Dramcorp's website, source appears to be a physical manifestation of desire. And wouldn't you know it, but one of Cecilia's first acts as CEO was to announce a new process where unlimited desire can be drained, as well as, quote, a spectrum of innovative new products products hyper-localized for peak consumer desirability. In short, Omega Mart seems to have a magical substance that can be infused into their products so that, when consumed, people become addicted and want more. It turns them into the universe's most satisfied customers. Our studies show additives increases customer satisfaction by up to 700% over a comprehensive range of products. And where are they getting that source? Us. At least, partly from us. After making us crave their products, Omega Mart drains that desire from us and adds it back to the source. You see, there's one particularly interesting attraction at the real-world Omega Mart location, a slide. When visiting the store, customers will have the opportunity to ride down a slide with Omega Mart employees cheering you on. Hold on, what did they say? Thank you for adding your human element to the source? Folks, it sure seems to me as though Cecilia Dram's exciting new initiative is to use Omega Mart's own customers to source the, uh, source that it uses to synthesize Additive S. But what is the long-term goal here? Just to addict more consumers and sell more products? Not by a long shot. Cecilia isn't just using the source for boring old groceries, she has big plans that clash with her father's vision. In one video you can only see in store, and that we can only see thanks to this video on the car Carpetbaggers YouTube channel, thank you for uploading that, Cecilia has an argument with her father in the source well about a girl named Marin. Marin is special dad in so many ways, she's going to change everything for us. We later see hints that Marin Dram is missing. So then who is Marin, this girl who's gonna change everything? Well, she seems to be a creation of the source. Elsewhere in the store is a journal full of lots of juicy lore details that frankly you can't really see without going to the physical location of Omega Mart. But by slowing down and enhancing Enhancing that footage from the Carpetbaggers video, we can get glimpses as to what's going on in there. In the journal, one employee talks about accidentally bringing a number of objects to life using Source. These mascots, as he calls them, are small but surprisingly useful. A note on one page has Cecilia saying that they're quote, like guard dogs for anyone trying to get into what's beyond that side door of mine. Side door, huh? Sounds like something I should keep my eye out for when I'm in Vegas. But these little living things were proof that Source could be used not just for products, but to create fully living creatures. Creatures. We've already seen how Source can turn lemons more human, and now we start to see how everything actually connects. Source seems to be some sort of liquefied desire or wish fulfillment. Meanwhile, Cecilia is harvesting the quote-unquote human element in her supermarkets, and as we heard from the employees, adding that back into the Source. So we have ourselves a special wish-granting goo mixing with human potential. I suspect that Marin is the creation of that fusion, a larger human version of a mascot. In that clip of Cecilia fighting with Walter, Marin seems to emerge from the source and immediately ask if Cecilia is her mom. To add to that, apparently there are codes littered throughout the installment that, when strung together, spell out, it was my daughter's wish. So, what is this a reference to? Well, it seems to me like someone is literally dreaming some of these wild things into existence, and I suspect Marin, a being made entirely of reality warping, wish-fulfilling source, might be our main suspect. So, the long and short of it, theorists, is that Dramcorp is now in the hands of a madwoman so powerful power hungry that she overthrew her own father as CEO, possibly even killing him. Under Cecilia's leadership, Dramcorp was restructured and Omega Mart was designed to lure in customers, sending them down their slide to drain all their human element and harvest the energy to create other wish-fulfilling mascots like Marin. And loyal theorists, that is just the tip of this iceberg. What's all this about the forked earth? Where did the source originally come from? Why are there these mysterious water aliens hidden in the back of the store? What is behind that ominous side door? And seriously, how do they get prices that low for a six-pack of Zalg? Theorists, there is so much more here, but all of it requires me to go in person. So I guess I have my work cut out for me. It's IRL research time. Into the belly of the beast. I've got my bags packed and a huge list of clues and notes that I want to follow up on when I head over to Vegas to shop at Omega Mart in a few weeks. Wish me luck. And if I do come back with a lack of human desire, just know that I always wanted you to subscribe to this channel, so do it in order to bring some joy back into my emotionally sucked clean bones. But hey, that's just not butter. Who told you that was butter? Oh yeah, it's also just a theory. A food theory. Bon appetit. Theorists, thanks for watching and be sure to tune back in once I get a chance to absorb 
everything Omega Mart has to offer in person. I'd also like to thank Jacob the Carpetbagger. The footage that he took inside of Omega Mart was really helpful, especially when we weren't able to get out there in person up to this point. So be sure to check out his channel, show him some love for doing the awesome job of uploading that onto the internet. Link to his video is on screen right now. Hop on over to his comments and tell him to try the mammal liquid, that it's delicious. That's what Omega Mart calls milk, so that's some context for that one. It'll be fun for him to see his comments suddenly filled with a bunch of mammal liquid wheat squares jokes. Anyway, as always, friends, bon appetit. I'll see you all next week.